what's going on YouTube uh, what I got here is a 1987 Bay Liner Cobra 2250 um, if you guys have seen old videos um, I would say about five six years ago um, on my page uh, you guys would have been able to see this this boat that I have now um, I just wanted to uh, talk about the boat for a minute um, so this would be a, a short video now um, you know it's 2020 summertime and I decided to um, check out the boat and see the condition of it now from my uh, previous video of this um, which I think was in 2015 or something like that um, you know I was I uh, did some stuff to it uh, got the boat started uh, that's when that's after it was sitting for maybe uh, three three years during that time um, so today uh, well I mean after after that video was made uh, the boat sat around um, you know after I cleaned it and everything got it started uh, I had a cover on the boat and um, you know unfortunately uh, it's been it's been neglected for a good long time um, and so I think the the cover that I bought um, wasn't so good it did not protect the the boat how it should have um, so uh, I think after about two years and the, the boat cover started ripping and so it just completely tore off um, and that was in 2015 so 2017 yeah uh, the cover was completely gone now um, since then uh, you know fast forward three years later uh, this is the condition of the boat um, after three years without having a cover or anything like that to protect it um, you know I put a lot of work into this boat actually uh, you know my younger brother and I we uh, did a lot of work to this um, I did the carpeting and then uh, you know we re upholstering the seats uh, those two uh, bucket seats right there I had it uh, I bought that at Walmart I think and, and I put that on those weren't the original uh, seats but um, yeah so I've done a lot to it and I would hate to just uh, you know have wasted all that time without having to uh having to enjoy it um after fixing it up i probably used it maybe three or four times and that was it after that then um it just sat around so uh you know my brother and i we we worked on this boat and that was around 2011 2010 um, so from 2010 to 2013 or no 2012 yeah um, you know I got only about three or four uses out of it and after that it just sat from then uh, so she hasn't seen any water um, since then so that would be about eight years now and you know like I said that's unfortunate um, she's a good boat so I want to try to get her back up and running, you know, um, after, of course, you know, getting her cleaned up and 
tuned up and um, you know getting all these leaves and debris out of here so that's something that I kind of want to work on it's a project that I want to do um, right now you know I think this is a, a good time to go ahead and do it so I just want to give you guys a, a walk around of my old boat um, so let's see so here's the inside inside look right there um, those red vinyls I had all of that changed all of that the carpeting in here was all changed out also um, the cushions those need to be um, we upholstered um, I probably want to use you know I don't want to use any of those uh, old old fabric in there but um, yeah so it's 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 got a, a pretty good space inside uh, where you could you know sleep in and then um, inside there there's a little space right there where I had like a little porta potty um, you know for for the girls to use now um, outside here you know um, you know I did all the carpeting here put the uh, the speakers in and then a uh, buddy of mine he was the one that installed the radio and also um, an amp right there so he uh he did all that for me because you know i don't really want to do all the wiring it's not something i'm good at um this piece right here still needs to be carpeted uh, i think i have i still have the extra carpet that i use it's the same one it just uh, i need to um glue that back on there um uh, let's see so i think i still have the deck face in there in here somewhere uh, if not i probably have to look for it uh, but yeah so earlier i was the uh i was charging the battery um my jumper right here was not able to power up uh, the boat so that I could raise the the transom. So the stern has been been down um, this whole time, and so I, I wanted to raise it to uh, to move it to move it out of this area, and hopefully over there in in you know some flatter grounds, concrete. And then, you know, I'll do my work right there. But, um, so, this jumper was not able to power it up. What I have in here is a, um, a charger. It's a charger right there that's built. And those batteries were brand new when I bought them. Um, if you guys look at the sticker, it says, what, March... 2015 well it was brand new when I bought it but um, yeah so I think they're still okay to use they're probably drained out right now so I'm gonna go ahead and um, charge them uh, while I work on a boat hopefully they still hold charge um, the speakers I'm not sure about these were not marine uh, speakers so they might have gotten rusty uh, the connections and everything might have gotten some rust uh, so that's something I will also look at later on um, but I think priority wise uh, getting this boat you know um, cleaned out cleaned out before now um, the vinyl that I did use on this on this boat uh, it's held up 
if this was a regular vinyl it probably would have been ripped and torn by now but uh these are marine grade um vinyl that i use and i actually still have like both of these rolls uh the white roll and the red uh, when i bought them uh, so i still have some of those left i'm hoping that uh, this coloration would go away after cleaning uh, we'll see but you know as far as the fabric it looks like it held up um, pretty good so uh, you know i can't really be mad about that now um of course you know this white one right here is going to be a pain trying to clean out but um i uh i have a, a brush i'll probably attach to my drill and and uh get it to work to clean this out um but yeah unfortunately really the damage that that caused this is um you know the cover that i bought on the boat uh, it did not hold up like it was supposed to uh so what we have here is this this is the aftermath of that i have um a cover and that cover i'm hoping is um will hold up better I think it's a uh, 600 uh, denier um, boat cover, which should fit. Um, so I'm not sure if I gave you guys the specs on this boat. Um, besides the year, uh, yeah, so it's a 87 Bayliner Cobra, 2250. Um, you know, it's a, it's a classic boat. Um, here's the sticker that I had on there last. It's a 2013. Now, um, she's pretty damn big. So this thing is like 23, 23 feet. And uh, the outside still looks good. Right. 